Alright, welcome to Hawthorne's uh, Crit on a Wednesday night down at Kew Boulevard. Um, it was really nice weather, a little bit windy, but um, overall it was uh, a whole bunch of fun. So, this is the first time down at uh, Kew Boulevard's Crit for me, so just getting a bit of a feel of the race course. Probably one of the more technical races in Melbourne, I would say. Um, but still, the organisers did a great job keeping everyone safe and, uh, yeah, let's get stuck in and have a look at some racing. Alrighty, so as we come around the bottom corner, the, the tight hairpin, probably the more technical part of the section, we're down onto the power, just shift down a couple of gears up to 800 watts. I guess the key with um, the teardrop kit is trying to not fully pop yourself in the first uh, couple of laps. But as we just pass, I think, D-grade here on the left-hand side and we're up to lap five now. So, yeah, the course here, it's my first time riding at uh, the teardrop and it was awesome. Um, the top corner is pretty fast and... Everyone was super friendly. This top corner is, um, you can generally pedal through it, but when you're going 45Ks, it's probably not need, no need. And the group's pretty strung out now. A little bit of a gap behind us in that rear camera, but not exactly sure why I'm sitting in the wind here and using up energy, but let's hope uh, I wake up and take someone's wheel here, get in the draft. So as we come down to the bottom corner, as before, probably more technical, te most technical part of the course. Uh, there are some cones on the right-hand side. You should see them in a second. It's a neutral zone, so you don't do any overtaking there and um, just keeps everyone safe. So really tight hairpin. You've got to scrub off a lot of speed and then bang straight up to 800 watts just so you don't drop that wheel in front. All right, so... Almost coming into 9Ks of the bike race. Um, lap number 9, another side hairpin as you hit that apex. Um, yeah, so the crit was a pretty short one. Um, total of 25Ks and only went for about uh, just over half an hour, I believe. So um, short and sharp. Gets you home for dinner, which is good. Group's pretty strung out. It doesn't really seem like um, when the pace is quite high. It's it's there's my teammate on the on the left there, Paul Speed, um, just recovering after a bit of an attack. Um, so I felt like at Hawthorne, looked the, the best times to, to really make up places was when the speed was quite low and the group was bunched up. When everyone's cruising around at 50 k's an hour, it's really hard to to go around someone, you know, five, six Ks faster than that. So, um, once again, yeah, you don't want to be sitting in the wind at this speed. You really want to be hiding a wheel. So there's Speedy launches an attack at the fastest possible place of the race, which, uh, yeah, whatever, mate, up to you. Really strings the group out and everyone goes really single file as they all try to find a wheel. neutral zone and bang 900 watts obviously it gets pretty taxing after a while so it looks like yeah, as the speed drops down to 30 31 30 k's an hour you can see you just get swarmed as the the back of the peloton all bunches up and this is the best time to attack when the speed's low at 32 k's an hour you want to hit that group you know five wheels back hit it with speed and get a little bit of a gap for yourself um looks like no one's done that there and everyone's all together and oh one person up the road but but not too far So 
up to lap 11 now. Bit of hustle and bustle in the rear cam as we come into that bottom corner. Speedy's on my wheel. Um, you can just see... Oh, super close. Is Alan... Uh, Maybe he dive bomb that corner just a little bit, but we'll let him slide as a, I think he won the Masters recently um, over at the Nationals in uh, in Ballarat, so we can let that one slide, but a bit of uh, yeah friendly banter being thrown around the peloton, nothing wrong with that. As we come around this corner for the, currently on 12th lap, can see Speedy has a bit of a look behind and uh, on the steep part of the track launches a bit of an attack which is probably his 16th of the day I would assume so I swing out uh, to the left hand side I don't want to just chase my teammates so I'll settle in behind the Masters champion and uh, just take it easy and watch them hopefully get away but as soon as I start to see a few wheels come back, I'm going to snap onto one of them and hopefully get them to pull me up to the front. And now, that's probably not going to happen, but you want to hopefully get pulled to the front and cause a bit of a gap behind you. You see, then you can form a bit of a breakaway with a few few riders because it's always a bit easier to, to challenge five guys to a sprint as opposed to 35, who's in the main uh, Pelo. So, as we all, as the group kind of forms, the guy in the green probably wants me to pull through. Flicks gives me the elbow, and I'm like, sorry, mate. I'm, uh, it's my teammate up ahead, so you're going to have to do the work here, unfortunately. All right, 15 laps in. Um, it's on 14.5k, sitting at the front of the bike race at the moment. Um, not much is going on. Might be one person up the road, actually. Not sure why I'm on the front. But Speedy launches another attack. Obviously not going to chase him down, so I'll just wait for someone to come past and sit in there, in their draft. Saving energy, and it's always handy having a teammate in the race, so... This corner was really tricky to figure out. I took this absolutely terrible. Look how wide I went and missed the apex by a mile and then had to try to chase down a, you know, four or five bike length gap, which is uh, pretty unnecessary. Um, looks like uh, Alan's recovered pretty well sitting on the wheel there. But uh, Speedy's attack looks like it doesn't didn't last very long and that was chased back pretty quickly, but... You know, all these little attack stretches and um, puts a bit of stress on the on the on the big power sprinters. So keeping the pace high when um, when you can is always a good thing. Um, helps out the the guys that aren't super powerful. Ties their legs and helps you out in the sprint. Let's see here, everyone's bunched up again as the speed drops to 33k this is the uh, the perfect time to launch a bit of an attack um, so your head's on a swivel here and you just don't want to make sure anyone any of your competitors get away as speedy launches another one now I've rolled in the front and try to hold everyone up a little bit not really pushing too many watts um, again you don't want to be tasting your team weight but you're happy for it to be towed back to the front of the bike race so you find a wheel, get aero, and hope that uh, you can put a bit of a split into the group. But I think, unfortunately, once again, this one gets pulled back. Alright, so we're coming into, I think this is the third lap. Everyone is absolutely cooked. Lap before, average of 368 watts, so we're working pretty hard. Um, there might be a couple of guys up the road now. Had a bit of a shocker here. As I clipped a pedal, nearly ended up in the gutter and fortunately didn't take anyone down, but wasted energy, ticking up to a 900 watts to try to chase down the wheel I dropped. Bit of a risky... Um, 
risky moment in the race for everyone. It's but that's bike racing, I guess. Don't pedal through corners. As this cycles gallery, a guy rolls around and chases down the rest. So you can see there, two laps left. Um, and there's a couple of guys just up the road. You can see them just get around the corner there. So not too far away, but we don't want to let that gap open up anymore. Um, now all I'm thinking about is just where can I find some time to recover and get that heart rate down and save the legs for the sprint because it doesn't look like anything's going to be getting away now. Um, it's all about saving the legs and getting uh, on that last lap being, you know, top three wheels coming out of that corner. Uh, the speed drops slightly, not really, still 43 k's, but everyone's swarming around you. You don't want to be boxed in. You want to be looking for that exit. So fortunately, Speedy comes around here, my teammate, so I jump on his wheel, and he gives me a bit of an exit point coming into this last uh, second last corner. Bang, straight onto the power again. I don't mind a few people getting around me. It's still very early and there's still time to move up. Obviously, you don't want to be swarmed, but you can see half the pelotons uh, out of the bike race now. You can't even see them in the rear cam. There's Bell Lap, last lap. So I'm just uh, sitting on Speedy's wheel, just knowing that he's going to provide me a lead out to get out to the bottom, at the bottom corner. So watch his uh, hand as he points, initiates. He's going to get me to the front. So I'm just staying real aero. He's dropping some big watts now as he leads me to the front of the bike race. You really don't want to be too far back on this bottom corner because it's so hard to to make up all the time so looks like there's still one guy up ahead Four. and now this is when disaster happens for speedy as he snaps his hanger there he goes he's out of the bike race so currently sitting fourth um, the guy in the red's been away for a bit so he's absolutely cooked and then on the last stretch, a little bit of a bump, and fortunately take out the win on a bike throw. So, but let's uh, let's go back and have a bit of a look what happened after this that uh, last corner because I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are. So, make sure you write some stuff in the comments below and like and subscribe. So let's just go back and have a look. All right, last corner. So little bit close there. Speedy's pu pushing out of the power and then completely annihilates his bike. He's gone. Okay, so currently sitting fourth. It's at this moment he had a choice to make and he decided to go inside, shortest line possible, but the guy in the green wanted, didn't want a bar of it. And there was a bit of a touch and... Um, Fortunately, they stayed up, but uh, potentially cost him the bike race at that one moment there. So, um, yeah, what a good good bit of racing that was. So I'm hopefully going to be doing a, a few more of these. So, um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and write in the comments anything that you think are missing or you'd like to see or anywhere I can improve. So I think it's um, good for the Melbourne bike scene. And, yeah, looking forward to uh, seeing you on the next one. Cheers.